Wow, and welcome back to Weekend on Wheels, and I'm Girish. And today I am at Sai Radha TVS to check out the all new TVS Ronin. The Ronin has already come to Mangalore, and uh, I'm here at Sai Radha to check out Ronin. So let's get in, and also I'll um, see if I can take the motorcycle for a spin and give you a review as well. So let's just enter the showroom and check out all the versions of Ronin. Now let's get in and show you the all new TVS Ronin. live the unscripted life so here we have so these are the different variants of Ronin that are there so I'm gonna just ask somebody to help me from the Sai Radha showroom to tell me more about these motorcycles Shravan Shravan from TVS is gonna help us tell us different models so Shravan Haley uh, in difference is the Imur model this is, this is a base model so okay base model ಸಿಂಗಲ್ So this is the base variant. This is the base variant. Is the cash tax to the base variant? So the base variant cost 198,000 rupees. Okay. Okay. So 14 liters of fuel tank capacity. Okay. Next to mid variant. Okay. Mid variant only additional like golden suspension for the right? Okay. So next single channel ABS with the dual tone colors, two colors for the Okay. Blue and gray color, but the red and gray color. Okay. So next top end. So, this really is the top end in difference. This is the next top end in difference. This is a single channel UPS and this one is a dual channel UPS. Okay. Dual channel UPS with the adjustable levers. Okay. Plus uh, levers and brake levers. You have to put adjustable levers. ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಬೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮಿಡ್ ವೇರಿಯಂಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟಬಲ್ ಲೀವರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಅದು ಮಿಡ್ ವೇರಿಯಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಏನು ವಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮೋಟರ್ಸೈಕಲ್ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ದರೆಂಜ್ ಕಲರ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದೇನ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ದ orange yellow gray and black paint scheme looks absolutely fantastic so this is a 225 cc motorcycle single cylinder four stroke uh, four valve and has a single head over cam this is powered with 20 horsepower at a max of 7700 uh, rpm and 19.5 newton meter torque at about 5000 rpm so beautiful spec so let's quickly have a look at this motorcycle and tell you more about this so coming from the front gets a beautiful disc uh, at the front which is 300 mm this comes with dual channel abs so you have a 300 mm disc brake in the front and gets this dual purpose uh, tire comes with the 
USD that is upside down uh, front fork and look at this headlamp beautiful looks absolutely stunning comes with the uh, DRLs LED DRLs on this uh, and has a very nice sleek indicator system and this comes with a 14 liter uh, fuel tank and look at this Odo console has a nice uh, scrambler style Odo console single Odo console which is a digital Odo console you get uh, uh, a lot of information here time uh, kilometers speed fuel uh, average and then the different modes that it has got service indicator uh, a lot of stuff goes into that so now as usual let's get on to the handlebar this gets a very nice upright sitting position so let's see what all you have on the handlebar so if you look at this you have the pass button you have the high beam low beam and you have the left and right indicator you have the honk button and then you have one more button here coming onto your right hand side you have the kill switch on and off then this is the mode button this is to switch between different ride modes so you have urban and rain mode so if you press third it will get into a rain mode and then if you press it again urban mode so these are the two different modes that are available and then you have the hazard light here and then goes on to the honk and then the seat uh, is quite a broad seat and uh, has a decent amount of cushioning so you can do a good uh, long rides on this particular motorcycle and uh, from the looks perspective has a very very nice personality to it um, uh, has a very good road presence looks absolutely stunning the color combination is beautiful and now let us look at the look at the uh, exhaust system so if you see the entire way the exhaust is designed you have uh, a little bit of cover here that is the engine guard completely covered uh, from the bottom and then the exhaust and i need to turn this on and show you the sound which is absolutely fantastic let's switch this off it has a very nice bassy um, feel to the exhaust note and when it comes to exhaust i don't know just when it comes to motorcycles or scooters or two wheelers TVs know their thing so well and then uh, on the rear you have a 240 uh, mm disc brake again gets the dual sport kind of a tire here and then i want to show this particular stuff look at this the entire chain has been covered and looks so neat i'm so impressed with this particular part of the motorcycle and it not only kind of covers the chain it also gets a very nice look so let's have a look from here see it gives a very 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 nice look um, as overall when you look at the motorcycle and this gets the 17 inch uh, uh, wheels both are 17 inch wheels uh, with different uh, uh, spec and now let's get on to the rear end so you have the LED uh, tail lamp here and the same indicator that you get on the front as well this also comes with a sari guard on your left hand side uh, and then a nice very nice TVS logo here and this portion uh, you have similar on both the side the design language is so good this looks so good on the entire look of the motorcycle yes so this is uh, the overall 360 degree look of the motorcycle and the basic spec so now let's ride this motorcycle and tell you more about this now it's time to ride the TVS Ronin. I have been waiting to get my hands on this for a while. Um, it's so been that uh, every time I got a chance to review this, I wasn't available. And when I wanted, the motorcycle was not available in Manglo. So special thanks to Saira the Manglo for giving this motorcycle. So I'm gonna do a highway ride today and uh, share my thoughts on this, how this uh, rides in highway conditions and you know, and all the other points that you need to consider when you do touring on such motorcycles so let's go to the highway and i'll see you guys once i reach the highway so i'm going to talk about top speed uh, braking suspension riding position all of it so let's see you once we reach the highway 
and here we are on the highway and this is the Mangalore Urpi highway so let's talk about the sitting position the riding position the riding position of this motorcycle is very neat beautiful it's upright comfortable sitting position the handle is slightly towards the rider which makes it very very comfortable to hold on to the handle and sit properly it's a nice sitting posi position so you can actually bunch kilometers on this with this kind of sitting position which is fantastic and uh, from the seat per se also this has a nice broad seat and um, from the cushioning per se i feel it's slightly on the harder side um, it can be a little soft uh, if you intend to tour a lot i would recommend just add on a little bit of cushioning just in case if you are not too comfortable with it but then otherwise this is fine um, for my kind of riding i'm i'm totally fine but then i'm sure few people might find it a little harder so yeah that's how you can actually upgrade uh, and make the seat more comfortable for you and from the handling per se the handling of this motorcycle is very nice very nimble getting onto the corner is very easy because the way the sitting posture posture is you can easily maneuver the bike the way you want it and it has good power very nice power so this is powered with the 20 horsepower at 7750 rpm so it has a very very nice sweet power delivery as well and i must talk about the gearbox which is the five speed gearbox my god the gear shifting is so smooth so easy it's like butter you can just easily shift the gear without any problem it's so easy i mean when i'm saying this uh, where what i'm referring is how smooth is the transition the gear transition is really smooth so from uh, gearbox per se also i'm just loving it and this is a oil cooled uh, motorcycle the motorcycle and gets this very nice um, digital odometer you know it's more like a scrambler style uh, odometer which gives you a lot of information and one of the biggest information that you can see while riding is this so you have two riding modes on this particular motorcycle which is urban and rain and you have this mode button here so you press that mode button once on the go so you don't have to stop your motorcycle whatever on the go if you press that it will change to rain here so if it is raining you can shift to the rain mode and then the ergonomics or the way engine responds and the braking everything changes there are certain parameters on which they work that's why you have two different riding modes so when you go on to the rain mode um, the engine is always on power and gives you good uh, control in terms of um, riding in race and this comes with dual channel ABS and the one which I'm currently riding is the top spec so they come in three different variants uh, you've seen that in the beginning of the video now let's get back to the urban mode so you just press that immediately it switch on to the urban mode and then you can actually connect your motorcycle uh, with your mobile phone uh, that's Bluetooth connectivity and get a lot of other information about your ride now let's try to do a top speed and uh, see what's the top speed on this reaching 100 is quite easy no stress at all you just saw i was at 30 40s and i just had to accelerate and in no time you can immediately reach 100 so uh, let me just achieve the top speed i was just trying to showcase the power output it's very very sweet power output and especially when you're riding on highway you don't feel at all there is lack of power it's good power for somebody who is looking at getting into a 200 cc motorcycle or a 225 cc motorcycle and uh, likes to tour so this this does that serves that purpose completely so let's try to find out some stretch where we can go flat out uh, and see um, now this is one big, big problem if you're coming in uh, Mangalore Rudupi Highway look at these roads they've completely um, uh, kind of uh, marked the roads to redo it so they've scraped a little portion and you have this wobbly feeling when you're riding on these scrapes and that makes it a little dangerous if I want to do something like a top speed 
But otherwise, from the braking perspective, before we get into the top speed, let me talk about the brake. The braking is very, very nice, and also the suspension uh, so comes with UST. The suspension is very good, the front suspension. Okay, some good roads. Now, let's try to do a top speed on this. Good stretch as well. done about uh, 115 uh, because there was a curve and then we've uh, told plaza could not push it beyond that so let's give it a second try and see what's the top speed once we get uh, ahead of this toll and uh, let's see what this can do while uh, before we again go on to the top speed again coming back to the braking but the braking is quite sharp comes with dual channel ABS very very nice it's got a good uh, bite to it so braking is very very good very very good now from 100 to getting down to 20s 30s is quite easy no stress at all so let's try to take it from here now let's do a top speed and also max out each gear third gear 80 4th gear 100 again this is the problem this is the problem I wanted to do the top speed but then because of all these vehicles I don't want to risk it and unnecessarily put somebody else also on risk I was looking to get a nice stretch but then unfortunately too many lorries around which is not encouraging me to go ahead and do a top speed let me try to get ahead of these guys and then see what, what's the top speed that we can achieve on this. Somewhere after you reach uh, 90, 100 or so on when you are on 5th square, you feel that sh there should have been an additional gear, like a 6th gear or so, and give you that extra uh, punch. Um, so you feel, uh, you know, there should have been a 6th gear, because there's so much power still and this is quite a grunty machine and the exhaust note of this motorcycle is fantastic i mean i'm just in love with the exhaust note very nice now this is kind of dangerous riding in these uh, road conditions see look at this the handle is all the time shaky wobbly uh, uh, because uh, here the depth of the scraping is slightly higher than how, what it was uh, uh, a little earlier so now let's get on to our next stretch and getting onto the curves also it's quite uh, easy and you know you can easily get onto the curves uh, maneuver the vehicle the way you want it uh, the motorcycle responds to the way you want it to ride you see it holds on to the line when you are on the curve and uh, very comfortable to ride and in this segment that is around 200 to 250 segment um, i think this is the best cruising bike that you can probably get um, and uh, best is it comes from the house of tvs well the suspension is extremely good both the front and the back i think the back is slightly on the harder uh, uh, suspension compared to the front and uh, you saw those road um, scrape right the front suspension handled that particular uh, stuff very comfortably i was riding another motorcycle last week um, and that was a royal enfield basically classic 350 and i had super tough time riding on those conditions with uh, the royal enfield and on this wow just took that road so comfortably i was a little finicky about uh, going at 80s 90s because the enfield was completely shaking all over the place while i was riding it um, and I didn't have confidence to kind of go beyond a particular uh, speed but in this I'm easily riding on that surface at 80s and 90s and this was easily taking onto that road without a problem which is awesome which is fantastic 
so to sum this up overall this is a very very good uh, motorcycle which can be your dual purpose you can use this in city commute because it's very comfortable to ride easy lightweight um, and you know has that road presence comes with usd a uh, dual channel abs um, two different ride modes and all of it so fantastic choice for that and at the same time uh, you can do touring on this motorcycle without a problem you can go long distances the riding position is very very comfortable upright uh, sitting riding position the braking is sharp very nice and um, from the seat per se like i mentioned might need a little bit of cushioning uh, if you intend to do a lot of uh, long rides uh, for short rides is com completely fine but long rides yes that's an upgrade that you need to do and uh, the rear suspension is slightly on the harder side compared to the front uh, that can i mean you can adjust that as per your requirement and uh, the sweet spot on this motorcycle is 90 to 95 kilometers there's a sweet spot you can ride this all day long without any problem and um, the mid range is fantastic it's super punchy even the initial is brilliant and then as you cross the mid range the power is tapered a little bit uh, for a linear uh, output and you know that's how the power output goes but then the initial first uh, punch is brilliant very very peppy you will enjoy riding this you know that so that's it so that's what i want to talk about uh, i'm not talking about the mileage company claims about 40 42 kilometers so you know won't be able to comment on that uh, maybe that's uh, subject is for a total different day but otherwise i absolutely loved riding this hope you liked watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share this video with as many people as possible if they are planning to buy a motorcycle and if they're looking at somewhere around 200 cc or 250 cc and if they're looking at cruiser this is definitely has to be a part of your consideration and then take a test drive if you like it you know what to do next so until the next video i'm gonna say bye for now keep it rolling